I'm doing an unboxing. Actually, I'm going to be doing a couple of unboxings. And then I'm going to also do a quick stream live of uh, what I'm doing with the uh, K-Swiss big logos. So I didn't mention that in my title, but uh, I have a couple of other um, K-Swiss shoes that I wanted to go over today. So my name is Mike Harper. Harper Explores is basically a channel where I explore the things that I love, things that I'm interested in. And right now I am interested in K-Swiss global brand. So K-Swiss, obviously, is a company that's been around for a very long time. In fact, you know what? I'm going to start with this pair of shoes here. K-Swiss has been around since 1966, started by a couple of guys uh, that were selling another brand of shoes, and uh, they came up with a cool product, sold it, started their own company, did a really cool uh, invention, and... Um, now it's K-Swiss as we know it today. So they're real popular back in the late 80s, early 90s, and then actually coming back right now. So, so first thing I'm gonna unbox is a, is a pair of shoes that I picked up on eBay. And uh, these are actually a pair from a while back. And this guy that sold them to me um, said he rarely wore them or didn't wear them very much. Cool pair of shoes. Um, but the guy was really nice. I kind of liked him, kind of dug him. Price was right, so I went ahead and picked him up. So these are kind of an older design. Let me pull these out. Kind of a cool older design. So these are kind of like a uh, chesty brown and uh, with a white uh, midsole and a black sole. I don't think the guy even wore these quite a few times, but this is an interesting shoe. So one of the design things that they used to do back in the day was this K-Swiss uh, logo down on the end of the lace, at the beginning of the lace. These are the classic D-rings, classic five stripes, lots of K-Swiss stuff, the K-Swiss logo on the tongue, and uh, the shield logo on the back. So I'm going to clean these up and butt them up a little bit, clean them up, and then... Uh, Actually, I might even do a quick video on how to take shoes that uh, don't look so great and make them look nice. So, all right, so here's the piece de resistance. This is the new K-Swiss Global Brand Aero Knit. So the Aero Knit is a brand new shoe, brand new design, super light sole. Um, and the, according to K-Swiss, this is the lightest shoe K-Swiss has ever made. In fact, it's so light, the box almost feels like it, it could be empty. Um, but anyways, let's get into the box. So first thing you're going to see is that uh, this is a tennis shoe. So part of the uh, K-Swiss branding and part of the work that they do is specifically in the tennis industry. And so they have their branding as the K-Swiss 100% uh, tennis. This is the K-Swiss um, logo here and you'll notice that there's stripes that run this direction from right to left and left to right. Well the tennis brand, you'll notice the stripes run a different direction. Pretty interesting stuff. So um, let's take a look at these. Now these are brand new. They just came out here in January. The day that they broke, I bought them first thing as soon as they came on online and came available. And here they are. So this is the new K-Swiss, I'm, I'm like all hyperventilating. So this is the K-Swiss AeroNet. And what's really cool about the AeroNet is um, and it uses this infinite technology and it's a super lightweight knit. And so what this kind of looks like to most, like the layperson that wouldn't even know, like this looks like a slipper. Like you don't really, it doesn't even look like a shoe with laces, but actually it has laces. The laces are hidden back under here. And so what's really cool about this is that it'll hold on nice and tight, like a, a shoe should. You know, you lace it up really tight and uh, cinch those up like you want and get those tied up, get the laces put away, and then stick the uh, cover right over the top of it. So like I said, the lightest shoe that K-Swiss has ever made. You'll notice instead of having, like K-Swiss has normally, has normally had, they'll have a regular sole and then they'll have a midsole. Now there's a different kind. So this rubber down here at the bottom, just the feel of it, is a lot more sticky. Like this has really got a lot of grip to it, like a tennis shoe should. And then this arrow section, which is the lightweight stuff where they honeycombed out, you'll notice they honeycombed all the, the area out here. 
just to give it a little bit more lightweight. And uh, man, that is really cool. So check out the bottoms of the soles. So they did the same thing here where they honeycomb the bottom of them. That's pretty typical with some of the um, the tennis shoes that they have. In fact, if you look at a lot of the tennis shoes in K-Swiss, they have uh, the cutaway back here, like right under the arch. So this whole section usually is made like this or honeycombed out like this. So it's it's keeping with their normal tennis brand. Um, gosh, that's the sole, like I said, is really kind of a sticky, like a, like a basketball shoe. So you'll see it's really um, nice and sticky. And then this arrow knit, it's not like a, I guess when I looked at them in the pictures, I thought of it as being like this really lightweight sort of, you know, thin material, but because there's two layers of it, there's a layer under it that, you know, holds all the, the uh, laces in and this whole section here. So it's got this section on the bottom and it's got like this uh, sock material over the top. So this black uh, material is like a sock, like a, like a heavy glove. That's really cool. So anyways, that is the Aero Net and it is a pretty awesome shoe. As soon as they came out, I wanted to get a pair. I'm gonna wear them. I'll show you um, and talk to you about how well they wear. Um, what's really cool about this Infinite, which is the, the branding here, the Infinite, is that it is a, um, a pretty, uh, they say it's very durable, very durable. And then if you look really uh, deep into the, the uh, material here, there's different types of perforations. So there's a like a semicircle of perforations here, and then the material on the outside is very perforated. In fact, the more you stretch that material, uh, the more the perforations show up. So I think that's really cool. It's a neat shoe. Um, and this is Surge right here on the side. It says Infinite here, and it says K-Swiss, uh, which is what I've seen in the CR329 that just came out. Uh, the Chinese New Year that just came out has this here, and then on the other side also. So K-Swiss on this side, K-Swiss on this side, K-Swiss on the tongue, kind of a off-center look, which I think is pretty neat. Um, Neat stuff, kids. I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna try those on later and tell you what I think about them and how they feel, um, and probably do another kind of a catch up on that in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna go into a couple of shoes that I've had for a while. These are called the Big Logos by K-Swiss, and there are two of them. So let me read the, the label, 06516-100-M. This is the classic 88. BLS and then this is the classic 88 BL. So let's go into the first one here. This is the BL. So the 88, this is actually not a typical 88. So this shoe right here, what's typical of the 88 is you have the three part uh, toe and then you would typically have the D rings. But on this particular shoe, when they put the logo on here, they um, took the D rings away and they inset the D rings. On the 88 knits, that's what these look like, like the Gary V's, the 003's. Um, those knits, they will have kind of a cool um, inset uh, eyelets. And that's what this particular shoe has. So not all 88's have the um, D rings, the raised D rings. So I'm gonna show you what the other pair actually has the regular D rings on it. This is called the big logo. So a classic 88 right here on the back, you'll see that it has a, a stripe up the back of the shoe on the back of the heel. These are super comfortable. I wore these down in uh, Vacaville, California with my wife when we went to the Bay Area. Now this is the 88 BLS, which is the stripes. So um, when you see this video on YouTube again, I'll show you this is a shoe that actually Gary Vee took a picture of it and said that these were heat. like them a lot um, and this is the same shoe but you'll see the difference is it has the d-rings on it so see where the eyelets are there's the d-rings instead of the standard eyelets so there's a, a little bit of difference there so this has the d-rings on it um, the toes the same the heels exactly the same the difference is is one is the big case with logo and then this case with logo which has actually set at a different angle if you notice that um, but then also has the five stripes, which is the, the case with branding. So pretty neat shoes. These are a couple of my favorites. These are great to wear summer or winter because they are a leather shoe. 
They will last for um, a good time during the winter, keep you dry, keep your feet dry, um, and they, they look really nice. Uh, they stay white for a long period of time too. You know, I've owned a lot of white shoes and uh, it's pretty common to own white shoes and then they get dirty and they get dingy and then you don't want to wear them as much or you, you know, they turn into the yard shoes and get away from them. But uh, I will tell you that the K-Swiss shoes tend to, same, to stay white for a longer period of time. So I really enjoy wearing them like that. K-Swiss big logos. I'm pretty sure these are still available on kswiss.com. Classic 88 and the Court Pro 2 are probably my two favorite uh, shoes. I don't know, because now they've got this uh, the new Aeronet out, and that's a pretty cool shoe. I'm going to have to try that on and see how it goes. So, Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Um, thanks for coming, and um, I appreciate your time so much. This is Mike Harper from Harper Explorers. If you are interested in watching this on YouTube or um, are interested in my YouTube channel, it's Harper Explorers at YouTube and on Instagram at Harper Explorers and on Facebook at Harper Explorers. Thanks again for your time, everyone. Have a great night. Enjoy your Sunday and have a great week.